All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makak Kodash. All right, I want to say double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone, so that's his word. Why Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching his word in truth and sincerity. All right, I'm back at it with another lesson. Um, as you brothers can see, um, this, this lesson shall be entitled, um, The Name of the Lord is Only Found in Israel. Or something to that effect. All right, just um, do some meditation on Second Edges, the third chapter. Um, because when you read it, basically, um, it's Edris. Um, he was in like full sorrow. Um, just seeing the desolation of Israel. You know, when he was um pleading to the Lord. You know, basically, how come, you know, we're going through this. You know, and you know, read on. The Lord eventually tells him, but um, what he says, you know, at the end of the chapter is, is basically that only uh, Israel has the name of the Lord, or not the heathen. All right, and that still is true to this day. Okay, because only only the Israelites can call upon the name of the Lord. All right, so that's how you know no heathen can come in this truth. All right. If a brother come in and he look like another nation, he has to be an Israelite. All right. The scriptures speak about confusion of face, you know. So the name is only found in Israel, man. And, and the Lord is only dealing with Israel. And that's how it's always been. Okay. So I'm going to start from second address, the third chapter. I'm going to start from verse one through three. Then I'm going to jump down. Okay, this is second edge is three and one. It says, In the thirteenth year after the ruin of the city, I was in Babylon and lay troubled upon my bed, and my thoughts came up over my heart. For I saw the desolation of Zion and the wealth of them that dwelt at Babylon. Right, so this is when the Babylonians uh, took Israel in captivity. Okay. And Ezra is basically he he was mourning because of it. Alright? So it says, and my spirit was sore moved that I began to speak words full of fear to the most high and said, so th this is basically Edris praying, man, and, and uh, going back and forth with the angel Uriel, you know. So um, we're going to jump down to, let's jump down to uh, 31, all right. Second Edges 3 and 31. I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? Right, this is this is what the uh this is what Edris is asking the Lord, you know, because the Babylonians had took us into captivity, you know. So and 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 they they uh they was basically ruling over us, man. And Edris knew that we are a great people, man, you know, and, and that you know, we have a power among us, man, that's greater than the nations, man. You know? So it says, I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? You know, and that answer is no. All right? The scriptures say the, the Lord, um, matter of fact, I'll just get it real fast. This is um, Baruch. Let's go to it real fast. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 6. It says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Right, this is going into how uh, time after time Israel was going into uh, captivity, man, under the, other, under the other nations, man. All right. So we were sold to the nations, not for our destruction, but because... Ye moved the heavenly father to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemy. So that's the reason why we were uh, given unto our enemies, because we moved the heavenly father to wrath. How do, how do we move them to wrath? By worshiping other gods, man. All right. What's the first commandment? The Lord said, thou shalt not worship other gods, man. I am a jealous power, you know, among other things. But the Lord is, is, is a jealous power, man. And Israel was worshiping. Um what that was not good for him you know that's them that's them other gods man you know 
It says, For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up. Ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Right, so that's that's why we were sold into slavery, man. All right, not for our destruction, um, but because we moved the Heavenly Father to wrath. So let's go back to 2nd Edris chapter 3, um, verse 31 again. It says, I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? Or is there any people that knoweth thee beside Israel? Right. And and that's a hey, that's that to answer that question is no. Alright. The Lord only know only known Israel. Matter of fact, let's get Amos um three and one. Okay. This is um slot. This is Amos chapter 3 verse 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Verse 2, You only have I known out of all the families of the earth. Right, so that, hey, that's the precept, perfect precept for that, man. You know, the scriptures say, you only have I known out of all the families of the earth. So of all the 18 nations that are upon the earth, the Lord of the Lord only knows the Israelites, man. He only dealing with them. You know, he only cares about us, man. You know, it's like um, just an example. You know, you uh, you have some kids or whatever, you know, and uh, they outside playing and shit. You know, you you and, and they got other kids among them, but you only care about what your kids are doing. You know, your kids got to be in the house at a certain at a certain time, you know, so you only care for them because they're yours. You know, you don't really give a damn about the mother kids, man. You know, and that's the same thing with the Lord, man. The Lord don't care about the other nations, even though he created them. You know, he only deals with Israel, though. You know, I'm going to read it again. It says. You only have I known out of all the families of the earth. Therefore, will I punish you for your for all your iniquities. Right. And that's why we were punished. You know, it's still, still to this day, man, still in our land of our captivity to this day, because uh, we, we sinned against the Lord, man. And he punished us. You know, you only punish your, your child, man, because you love him. You know, we are the Lord's children, you know. So let's go back to um, 2nd Ezra 3 and uh, 32. Was there any other people that knoweth thee besides Israel? Or what generation have so believed thy covenants as Jacob? And yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. Right, so Ezra was just basically just pondering upon like man these nations they got wealth um they they you know they're living good but they don't they don't follow thy commandments lord you know why is this that's happening man you know we we know why but you know you can see that ezra at the time he didn't know you know if he if he wasn't inquiring all these questions you know we wouldn't we wouldn't even know man you know this had to be written down, man, you know, for us today. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep going. Um, verse 34. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Right, and that's, that's, that's the point, man. Only, only the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, and His name is only found amongst Israel, man. You know, that's it. Verse thirty-five. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Right. So only Israel has kept the uh kept the Lord's precepts, man, not the heathen. Alright? 
it was only given unto us, man, you know? And that and that's what separates us from the nations is the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, you know? To govern ourselves. Alright? So so the name is only only in Israel and the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, man, you know? So let's close them out with um let's get Psalms 147. Just close him out. All right. This is Psalms 147 and um, 19. It says, He show off his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. Right, there it goes, there it goes again. All right, the Lord have not dealt so with any nation but Israel. That's what I think I'm going to call it, man. You know, the spirit, you know, had me go into this topic, you know. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Right. So, hey, man, the Lord only deal, deal with the Israelites, man. You know, he ain't dealt so with any other nation. And, and only Israelites have the name. All right. Praise ye, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right, so with that, brothers, Lord willing, this lesson was as fine. You know, I'm going to close it out by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone, so this is word. Why shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word, truth and sincerity. Stay up, brothers. Shalom.